Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'd like to share with you another method how you can farm those holiday gifts. And they have to do with the Centatron and workshops. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, Mark Smith, one of the Z Clan members who actually pointed this method out. And I used it, but I don't recall if I actually made a video on it uh, in the past. But so I decided to kind of like uh, jump into it. But I'm pretty sure I did that before. I just can't recall if I made the video because I have thousands of videos in, in regards to Fallout 76. So the idea is uh, you will need to capture workshops and build the Santatron. The Santatron you can build one per camp, one per workshop. So you can have a lot of these uh, Centatrons running around collecting the resources for you, I mean the, the holiday gifts. So here we go, uh, you can build it at the resource uh, tab and uh, there it is. You'll, you'll have it with all of your uh, Collectrons, Centatron. So uh, I believe it's still currently also available at the Atomic Shop because and it should be free because I collected it. I had it on PC before, but I didn't have it on Xbox. It's a good thing that they have returned it. So go ahead and log in if you haven't logged in since last Tuesday. Uh, I'm not quite sure when this is ending, so uh, make sure to log in and pick it up. So once you've picked it up, essentially you will be able to build those. And then you will just go and collect all the stuff. Woohoo! That's one. And as you can see, I have a lot of events going on right now and they are uh, on retake. I did it actually on intentionally because first of all uh, the retake what it means is that you will need to get the workshop back from the attackers right and uh, the beauty of the retake is that uh, they don't spawn in waves so for example if there were to be four waves of whatever enemy right once they take it they will all be spawned in and you will be able to retake it from them without fighting the entire four waves <clears throat> and wasting your time so essentially uh, they will be grouped up and if you have a for example a Tesla rifle right uh, you will be able to melt them down really quick and uh, also get a lot of XP in process the other good thing is about the workshop is that sometimes you can also spawn in uh, a wave of scorched and once you're spawning in a wave of scorched you have a chance of getting uh, the Santa squad scorched dudes running around so let me go ahead and show you an example let's let's take uh, something yeah let's take this one for example I died there <laughs> uh, and you will see what I meant about the retaking over uh, workshops so uh, if there were to be like four waves of enemies in this specific workshop that we're gonna in the specific workshop that we are about to take over, there should be a lot of enemies kind of like within the area. The other thing is make sure to build your Centatron somewhere like on high ground so it doesn't get destroyed. So as you can see, what I did here, I uh, just stand there all lonely and stuff. Who are we fighting? All oh, frogs. More frogs. By the way, the sad part, for some reason, sometimes they decide to run away, which kind of sucks. And the other good thing about the retake, to uh, like to be honest, is that they will spawn in like with the lowest level requirement. I mean, with the lowest level. So, for example, if I were to come to this area uh, once it's being like the process is starting of uh, being captured, these frogs will be at level 100 for me. And to be honest. Uh, with this Tesla, it takes some, quite some time to take out uh, level 100, um, what do you call, uh, frogs, so, bam. But, once they spawn in with, uh, all together, they are kind of like a smaller level and they go into, so I still need to capture a lot more workshops. Uh, the other thing is, that, the other thing that I'd like to point out, that this method is more effective once, if you have like a few hours to play it a day like for example uh, maybe like two or three hours so you capture all these things because that takes time you, it takes time to build and stuff like that so if you have a couple of good hours to play then I would recommend using this method the other thing is sadly this method works 
perfectly for those who own uh, a private world. If you do not own the private world, you can still do it on a public world, but uh, you do have a chance of somebody retaking uh, your workshops. Uh, to be honest, I did this yesterday on the adventure mode as well, so it, I didn't have a, not a single PvP. Also, I noticed that there weren't a lot of people playing. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is the case. Maybe Cyberpunk or I don't know. I did kind of notice that there is uh, less people started playing. Or maybe it's just me because I haven't been playing this game on a regular basis. Yesterday I dedicated some time to this game and so my, my judgment might be wrong. But let me ask you this. Have you noticed the dr uh, player drop uh, these kind of weeks? Because I sure did. Alright, so you get the point, right? You build the workshops, you uh, overtake them. The other good thing is they will spawn waves of enemies at you, right? And that is XP. And uh, once you're fighting these enemies, essentially uh, you will be also triggering the weekly challenge, the repeatable XP, which allows you to get more of the. Like, what the hell are the dogs doing there? Like, honestly, like, this is so dumb. Like, they're supposed to be attacking, not running away. Sometimes I had cases where the guy just just ran off in a totally different direction. I had to follow him, like, for a decent amount of, like, time. It's weird. But anyway, uh, the point is, capture the workshops, get the thing done, collect your uh, holidays, uh, holiday gifts, and I wish you good luck in hunting these holiday gifts. Because uh, there are some new rewards for those who've played last year. Uh, if you haven't played this last year, then you have a whole bunch of rewards to unlock. And essentially also get some script, get some caps, get some XP, get some legendaries and stuff like that. So I'm going to continue my grind before I got to go to the stores to buy all those holiday gifts. <laughs> for the real gifts. <laughs> uh, and then I'll come back and play some more Cyberpunk. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can uh, read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you want your comments to be read, uh, feel free to comment. The only the only requirement, the only request I personally have is just don't swear. You can always write your negative feedback, positive, whichever, just don't swear. And if you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. Once again, I hope you found this video useful. Y'all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh, by the way, I did forget to mention. Uh, we do have our uh, Discord with over 800 members. So, if you want to join, feel free to join. Uh, the Discord is more mainly focused on Fallout 76. Uh, and other games as well. Just go to the get started section, uh, get get user roles in order to get access to the needed chats, right? So if you want to see chats for Fallout 76, you gotta go and click the icon Fallout 76. Also, you need to agree to our rules. If you don't follow the rules, you will get banned. So by agreeing to the rules, you get access to the general chats and trade chats. On the trade chats, you also have some rules over there. Make sure to follow them because if you don't, you will get banned. Trust me, you will. <laughs> we don't mess around. My mods don't mess around. And uh, any other useful links uh, that you may find of use is also down in the video description. So just link to the Twitch, Patreon for additional support if you feel like doing so, and other stuff. So, y'all have a good morning, day, and night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose.